Now, it's not very often that a new airport opens its door to commercial flights, but that is exactly what's happening here today. I'm here at Carlisle in the Lake District in the northwest of England, and they haven't seen commercial flights here in over 25 years. That all changes today, however, as this building behind me opens its doors for the very first time to the paying public. With it, Scotland's airline Logan Air are commencing flights to three destinations from here to Southend, Belfast and Dublin. And it's Dublin that I'm heading to today, with Logan Air on board the very first flight out of Carlisle Lake District Airport. Let's head inside and let's go flying. There's been an airfield on this site since World War II, when it was opened as RAF Crosby on Eden. It's had passenger services on a couple of very brief occasions in the 1980s, with the most recent effort ending in 1993. The airport was bought in 2006 by Stobart Group, the same company that owned Eddie Stobart, Stobart Air as well as Southend Airport. They built the new terminal with plans to start flights back in 2016, but this never happened. The airport finally commenced passenger operations today, almost three years later. So here in the terminal building then at Carlisle Lake District Airport, there isn't really much here, it's not a very big building but then you wouldn't expect it for three flights a day, five days a week. There's a few people from the press and things here that are making quite a big deal of this, of course it's the first time that commercial flights have gone from Carlisle in over 25 years. Okay, they've called our flight for boarding, just in the line for security at the minute. They've literally just shout the flight for boarding and that's when you head through to airside, so I'm imagining there's not very much space through there. So. Once airside, there was even less space than in the departure lounge. It's perfect for the current operations of three flights a day at different times, but should they ever go to any more flights, I've got the feeling that they'll be pretty soon running out of space. Out on the apron, our aircraft was ready to take us to Dublin. Outside, the media were lined up ready to catch their scoop. ITV, the BBC and numerous local radio stations were all here. This is a passenger announcement for all passengers flying on flight number LM035 to Dublin. Please make your way to departures. Here we go. My ride over to Dublin today is a Saab 340 that's actually operated by the Estonian airline Nix Air on a lease to Logan Air. It was originally delivered to the Dutch airline Air Excel in 1989. Since then it's been operated by the Slovak airline Tatra Air, Kenya Flamingo Airlines and the Swedish airline Alandia Air before Nix Air bought her in June 2019. She was painted in the Logan Air livery just a few days before a delivery to Carlisle. The safety cards are Nix Air rather than Logan Air ones, the only indication inside the cabin that this isn't a Logan Air plane. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking, welcome on board. And, um, this, uh First flight from Carlisle to Dublin. It's an honor to, to be a part of this, and on my personal behalf, uh, I also want to welcome you so warmly. Flight hours, uh, or flight time rather, is less than an hour. To be honest, uh, we try to make it in 55 minutes, and um, the weather at uh, Dublin is uh, uh, getting cloudier, but otherwise, it's summery weather there as well. And um, I wish you enjoy this flight and fly us with us again. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Take off, please, and share that on your hand. Just... Once everybody was on board, the doors were shut and we fired up our engines. Electronic devices must be in their flight safe mode and any Bluetooth and traffic. Outside, we were being broadcast live to the world via BBC Breakfast News. Treated to a water cannon salute as we taxied away from the ramp. To the 
North of the runway here at Carlisle is the Solway Aviation Museum, which has got some cool exhibits, including this Vulcan bomber. After a quick backtrack, the engines powered up and took us on our way, becoming the first commercial flight to leave from Carlisle in 25 years. As we head towards Ireland, let's take a quick look at our route over to Dublin today. We took off from runway 24 at Carlisle and flew west towards the coast before heading southwest past the Isle of Man. From there we turned right on track towards the Irish coast. Then it was a standard approach into runway 28 at Dublin. The flight time today was 47 minutes at a cruising altitude of 14,000 feet. Once we reached our cruising altitude, the flight attendant came around handing out gifts to the passengers. We were given a bottle of Scotch whisky with a lovely Logan Air shot glass. Logan Air's in-flight magazine, Flightlog, had a great article about Carlisle Airport with the timetable. They're operating three flights a day, a return trip to Belfast, Southend and Dublin. They only operate them five days a week. Whilst I can see Belfast and Dublin being popular with business traffic, I can't really imagine the leisure orientated route from Southend to Carlisle will be too popular. Unless, of course, Logan Air are planning to link in with the growing base that EasyJet have down at Southend. The standard Logan Air service commenced and we were given a choice of tea, coffee, savoury or sweet snacks. Of course I had to take a Tunnock's wafer, my favourite thing about Logan Air's in-flight service. chuckle at the instructions by the oxygen supply advising us not to smoke while it's in use. I wondered if that meant that we were able to smoke for the rest of the time. Before long the Irish coastline came into sight and we commenced our approach down into Dublin. The ferry service from Dublin to Hollyhead was heading out of Dublin below us. We made our approach down into runway 28 at Dublin. Thank you and have a very good morning. 
My flight to Dublin today on the inaugural flight cost me £59.99, or roughly $75. US dollars. This was for a distance of 175 miles, giving a cost per mile of 34 pence. Whilst this does seem like a pretty high price per mile, remember this is a short flight so the price per mile will seem a little bit higher. Personally I think that £60 represents excellent value for money compared to a two hour drive from Carlisle to either Glasgow, Edinburgh or Manchester. I really do hope that this service is a success and helps to give the northwest of England excellent air links around Europe. Let me know if you're more likely to visit the Lake District now you can get there so quickly. Carlisle Airport is now officially open for business. Thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time here on In Flight Video.